Garlic Jr. So I had a bunch of people want me to talk about this unit, so I'm going to talk about him today. So I think Garlic Jr., the main reason why people love this unit is because he's an amazing support type unit. He gives extreme class allies three key and 40% attack and defense. And guess what? He's on LR Final Form Coolers, 200% leader skill because he's on Terrifying Conquerors, and he's on Transmission Boost. And another thing to mention is that he shares four links with him. So if you slot three this guy, <laughs> uh -huh. link level 10, that's 70% attack, 50% defense, and 5% HP recovery. Uh, and another thing is that he's giving him three key and 40% attack and defense. Guys, that is out of this world. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Deb, back for another one of these Dokkan Combat videos. And today, I'm going to talk about Super Garlic Jr. But I'm just going to call him Garlic Jr. for the sake of this video. So, Garlic Jr. came out back in May 21st. May 21st. <laughs> May 31st of 2021. And he comes out on the Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan banner, right? Yeah, he does, right? Am I crazy? Let me get Fierce Battle. Go right on over to him real quick. I don't remember, right? He does come out on Kid Gohan's band. They come out the same day, May 31st, May 31st, and May 31st. Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. So he comes out on Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan's banner, um, you know, an arguably underrated Dokkan Fest in 2021. And I think that his release was quite good. This banner unit was really good because A, he started out with a very high percentage of attack and defense. B, he was able to be used inside battle row because he had stun chance as well as more additional attack and defense to go up against super class enemies. And C, the big thing about him, him being an extreme class support type unit of 3 key and 40% attack and defense. That is really, really substantial. This was so big back then that it was just... Guys, this is just... This, this shit is crazy. I'm just going to say it outright. Having an, a buff that big was so helpful. It could low-key resurrect units. It could mean the difference between life and death on a super attack with that buff on a unit on rotation. So, this guy was quite good on release. <laughs> He's quite good. Now, how do you perform in the God Event meta? So, you could run this guy in the God Event meta. But, the thing is, is that obviously he wouldn't be able to stun because, of course, yeah. I'm pretty sure all of them are super class enemies inside the God event. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I do not know. I'm pretty sure they are super class enemies. So, this guy was getting an additional 60% attack and defense on super attack. Well, attacking. But, yeah, this guy can work all right in the God event, provided he does not get touched too much. Because, if I do remember correctly, this guy can get hurt in there. Yeah, this guy can definitely get touched, touched up in there. Probably wasn't working the craziest. I'll say that outright. Because I'm not completely sure if those God Event bosses were super class enemies. I'm pretty sure there were. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they were super class enemies. So this guy was gaining 60% attack and defense when attacking. So technically, he was gaining an attack and defensive buff when he was super attacking, which is definitely nice. And he was supporting the whole extreme class rotation with 40% attack and defense, recovering HP at the end of the turn when he had taken the attack. So I would like to believe that this guy performed all right in the god event i hmm give me a second guys i'm gonna make a cut i'm gonna pull up a youtube video and see how he performed okay so i found a video on how uh, golly jr will work inside the god event and he actually starts out with a nice attack and defensive buff because he does have that demon goddess toa on rotation with him we're just gonna review this little rotation yo is that who is that boss is that liquor is that what what is that little mouse name <laughs> little mickey mouse what is his name let me pull up God Event real fast. I don't remember what that God Event's name was. That's Quitella. <laughs> Quitella. Okay, so Garlic Jr. is going up against Quitella with Demon Goddess Toa on rotation with a 200k defensive stats. How many links does Demon Goddess Toa share with him? Let's go on over to and yeah, he's running a he's running a Dragon Ball Seekers team at that. Okay. So he's running a uh, Goku Trunks and Pan team with Demon Goddess Toa on rotation right next to him with 140k defense and Garlic Jr. has 200k defense. Let me pull up Dragon Ball Seekers because he's on Dragon Ball Seekers. Let me get Demon Goddess Toa. I did not know that she was on Dragon Ball Seekers to be honest with you guys. Uh, they're sharing 
So they're sharing demonic ways. They're not sharing demonic ways. Yeah, she has demonic power. You know, <laughs> that's why. I've read the links the same. They're both sharing... I think they're only sharing, what? Thirst for Conquest? Thirst for Conquest and... That's it. Yeah, Thirst for Conquest and maybe Nightmare? <laughs> Scientists. <laughs> they're only sharing Thirst for Conquest. Okay. All right. So, Garlic Jr. is at 200k defense. Let's see what he does. Shout out to the truth, by the way, because I'm using this video. Yeah, Yumi has Thirst of Conquest. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to the truth. Let me go ahead and uh, mute the desktop audio, too. I'm at it. Let me give that video a like. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see what Garlic Jr. does in slot one. Wow. Garlic Jr. is tanking for... I mean, that's good. That's good. Garlic Jr. is tanking type neutral inside the god event and he's double digits post super attack so yes god event bosses are super class enemies because he did do a super attack and gain additional 60 percent attack and defense on super attack so all god event bosses are super class enemies i did not know that learn something new every day okay i mean uh, hey i mean could he take a super attack from quitella probably not but he's tanking normals. Hey, Garlic Jr. does well in the God Event. Okay, I had to pull up a quick video to see. So he performs all right in the God Event. So how does this guy perform in today's meta? What you could do in today's meta with this guy for the red zone is run him on LR Final Form Cooler's team because he is on LR Final Form Cooler's 200% leader skill. So technically, you could go ahead and run him on that team and build him full dodge. You don't want anything else on him. You build him full dodge, leave him in slot three, and pray to the masses that this guy does not get touched. Other than that, you'll be a-okay, because this guy will be giving LR Final Form Cooler three key and 40% attack and defense, as well as, what, at level 10 links, 70% attack and 50% defense? That's completely ridiculous. This guy in slot three can be so good. Let me go ahead and close up this video. Of course, shout out to the truth, by the way, for using this video. So, yes. Garly Jr. is quite good for the God event, but inside the red zone, you can probably slide by with him if you build him full dodge and hope to the masses that this guy does not get hit and scathed by a super attack or a normal attack. That would be not type neutral. So, what is uh, this guy looking like for 200% leader skills? So, obviously, he's on LR Final Form Cooler's 200% leader skills. It's pretty clear, cut and simple, because he's on Terrifying Conquerors, and he's on Transmission Boost. Uh, Dragon Ball Seekers has a 200% leader skill, but he's not on GT Heroes, clearly. Uh, Time Travelers would be a no, because no crossover in Dragon Ball Heroes. Revenge would be a no. Tech? No, 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 no. No? Let me get Path of Power Goku. What's Path of Power Goku? Is he on Exploding Rage? He's not on Exploding Rage. Ah, okay. Hmm, heavily events will be a no, and trusted wills a no, and power of wishes will probably, probably not. Because battle of fate and final trump card. You're not a final trump card, right? No, you're not. Okay. Let me see you guys. Final trump card. Can I help? Yeah. <laughs> so he's on only on LR final form coolest 200% leader skill. Hmm. That's all he needs, to be honest. So what is good about this guy? I think what's good about this guy is the fact that at the time of him releasing, he had an amazing support type passive of 3 key and 40% attack deeps for extreme class allies. He does recover HP when he does take a hit, so he can be an amazing slot 3 unit, as well as him gaining an attack and defensive buff on super attack, provided you go up against super class enemies, which is basically 85% of the game. And he starts out with a very substantial attack and defensive buff just at the start of the turn. It's very good. This guy is quite good. He also has a third percent chance stun, which could be used inside, well, anywhere an enemy could technically be stunned. But what's bad about this guy? The only issue with this guy I would say is that he doesn't gain defense inside his super attack effect. That's it. That's the only issue with him, and that his defense is definitely lacking for meta concept. That is all. Because the easy way to fix this guy would probably be to just give him some sort of, like, damage reduction buildup for, like, because he'd be, this is an amazing slot three unit. Right, this can definitely be an amazing slot three. Look at some of his best linking partners. It's like LR Final Form Cooler, LR Metal Cooler. Uh, this tech, this tech Final Form Cooler. I will be doing a video on him. Look out for that. To the one person that kept commenting about this, 
you are getting your wish fulfilled. I am fulfilling that. But it's like, look at this. Tech Final Form Cooler, LR Metal Cooler, uh, LR Final Form Cooler. It's like, what else? Tech Janemba, technically, I guess. You have STR Transforming Cooler. You have uh, AGL Metal Cooler. You have LR Goku Black as a monster. It's like, he has so many actual usable, so, like, pseudo linking partners. It's something, right? It is something. But yeah, I think that is really about it. This guy is, that's a good support type unit. This is what a powerful support type unit looks like. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.